Hey guys, welcome back to this video. In this video, we're going to be making a little um, trick or treat system because it's Halloween. Happy Halloween, okay? It's 31st or however you want to say it uh, from October. So happy Halloween and um, we're going to uh, make a little trick or treat system because it's Halloween. Um, so what I'm going to be doing is you need to make a door. You want to name it main door. And then just scale it like this. Um, I'm gonna make a yellow, yep, and then, um, you wanna search up in sounds and audio, um, like, doorbell, and you wanna get the second one, I believe, yep, you wanna get this one, then, after you did that, you wanna make a sound in your main door, and you wanna put the ID over here, sound ID, boom, make this volume 5, ding dong, okay, well, you get the point, um, so then, you want to make, uh, you want to duplicate a part and name it wall, and you just want to make a quick wall, you know, like this, red, oh, that's, a, wait, this one, and then over here, yep, and then you want to duplicate your main door once again, and you want to, uh, remove everything inside of it, and you want to name this the doorbell, because you're not going to ring the bell, you're not going to ring the door, but you're going to ring the bell. Yes. Okay, so now that uh, this is over here, anchor everything. And then inside of your doorbell, make a click detector and make a script. And then type local debounce is equal to true. Script the parent dot um, uh, click detector dot mouse button one click, correction mouse click, call a connect to a function of completely nothing. Then if debounce equals equals to true, then debounce equals to false. Wait 0 0.75. Script dot parent dot parent dot main door dot sound colon play. So we're gonna ring the bell. We're gonna wait for three seconds and then we're gonna um, uh, get a person. So main door dot transparency is equals to one. W uh, then we're just gonna put over here ro remote event fired. Then wait four seconds and then script the parent the main door. Well, yeah. What I'm gonna do is wait two, and then over here wait two, and then script the parent the main door. Script the parent the parent the main door. The transparency is equals to zero, and then wait two seconds and then debounce is true. So what we just did is um, we made a little system. I'm gonna put my desktop audio on. Yeah, you should hear it. Well, kind of. Anyways, if we ring the bell, the door opens, and then after two set we cannot get in. That's sad, but okay. And then after the amount of time, it's gonna close, and now and then we're gonna wait two seconds, and now we can ring it again. So if we spam click it now, nothing's gonna happen because we set a debounce, like a like a timeout. So now in replicated storage, you wanna make two events. Uh, the first one is going to be first signal, and the other one is going to be the second signal. Second signal, yep. Um, then over here, gain a replicated storage. Dot first signal colon fire um client. Uh, over here player or player and then player. Well, hold up. Uh, print player dot name. And then over here you can do player. Then you want to go into starter GUI and want to make a local script. Gain a replicated storage dot first signal dot on client event colon connect to a function of nothing. And then type game dot replicated storage dot second signal colon fire server. Then go into start uh, server script service and type game dot players dot player added comma connect to a function of a player player um, well, local ls ls not one s but ls is equals to instance dot new folder uh, folder dot correction ls dot name is going to be leader stat and ls dot parent is into the player 
local candy is equal to instance dot no string value number value candy dot name is going to be treats or candy whatever you want uh, candy dot parent is going to be ls and and candy dot um, value is going to be zero then game dot replicate storage dot second signal dot on server event call and connect to a function of player well we already did that uh, player the leader stats the treats that value is equal to player the leader stats the treats that value um, wait I have an idea local uh, random is equal to math at random one out of five um, yeah and then uh, plus random so we're just gonna get a randomized amount of um, like candy. Yes. Let's test this out. Let me check real quick if all of this works. The bell goes, the door opens, and we're gonna get two treats. We got two treats, and then the door closes. So that's a little system. What you can do, anyways, is um. Ooh. Okay, you want to make a third, a third signal, and over here you want to do game replicated started dot third signal. Um, how are you gonna communicate? Uh, no, let's not do that. Oh yeah, that works. Uh yeah, okay, I get that point. Um and then over here you wanna make a little text label. Uh, UI corner screen GUI boom. Zero point five comma zero point five, zero point five comma zero comma zero point seventy five comma zero. Make it five hundred. Make it a hundred. Make it like this, so it stands. I'm gonna make Gotham black, of course, you know me, and just make it blank. Visibility off. Mm. Uh, script the parent the text label that visible is equal to true. Script the parent the text label the text is going to be you got some candy. And uh, wait to script the parent the text label that visible is equal to false. You go. Main, uh, main handler. You want this girl? Okay. Um. So this is our little system already. Well, what you what you can do is load up a character. Go over here, and then put it a little bit back. A humanoid. Fewer none, and then let's test this out. Ding, dong. boom! You got some candy, and we got two treats, and the door closes. I realize we have to do one more thingy, and that is change one of these transparencies. Yeah, make this three seconds, and then over here in the text label, make it uh, background transparency one. Um, hi. Ooh. Oh, wait, never mind. I'm gonna make it white. And then visibility off. Doesn't really matter anyways, but you get my point. Alrighty. Three, two, one, ding dong. The door opens, we we see a person, he gives us candy, and we got one candy this time. Um I'm gonna make a candy. And um, th this should be it already. 
Ding dong. And then we see a person. You got some candy. We got zero candy treats. Oh, oops. Okay, dingy dong. And then the door opens. We see a person. You got some candy. We got three candy this time. And then we can ring the bell again. Ding dong. And the door opens. We see a person. You got some candy. We got four. Um, we got five candy this time. So this is a little system on how to make a trick or treat system. If you enjoyed this, happy Halloween. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and I'll see you all in the next video. We started.